That's right. Um, here's if all the things are done and accomplished. Which you might think. Um, and then I reflect on the worst conversations I've had with other people about my iconic. I have been the words as the voice influence them to buy or do certain things. Or I was the voice that they had to get them straight. Or, um, they play video games and I talk to them. Or they watched some television film I didn't inform. It's been a true honor and a privilege. But the most iconic memories I have are when I do stuff that is so polarized. It can be in the top most loved and hated things of all time. Something in the 40s. Something I'm speak about injustice in government or humanitarian rights. Or even if I've done on Saturday Night Live, I'm one of the actors in Saturday Night Live, who has the distinguished honor of being number four and number five. The top five most loved and most of all five months alive in the music history. I am number four and number five. I see this for the Dyke and Fats series, um, which is marvelous. And I hope, um, you know, hey, Lauren, if you don't have time to pull those staff members to make a film out of it, I would love the honor to license the rights and work with Kate and uh, Addie and, uh, and other Saturday Night Live cast members and, and do a spoof film on Dyke and Fats. Um, and be the voice for that, and even do a role of appearing in a cameo in that, as well as um, Did Jesus Uncrossed. They are the top four and five where we pissed off everybody from Christians to religious holy rollers about the end of time by airing Did Jesus Uncrossed, he's back, he's pissed. I never knew Jesus used the N word so much. Or Dyke and Pat's, uh, Dick and Lacey spoke about two lesbian cops in my day. It's time we learn to coexist, laugh to get along, and Lauren Michaels, you're brilliant at what you do. May you always be blessed in rock and roll heaven, and thank you for the honor and the privilege to work with yours and to just learn from your iconic movements in the industry. And God knows I need help producing this concert for World Peace Live with you and the guests of Saturday Night Live to help me blow it up this October and rock the vote. I gotta have boots and beer and, and drug, sex, and rock and roll over World War III because no one wins World War III except the boobs who are pushing the buttons and the boobs make the bombs and the rest are uh, gone. Life is more like the Matrix than they told you. Wake up, sheeple. It's the end of time. If you don't learn how to coexist, you're gonna blow this to kingdom come. And then isn't it interesting that the Asian virus and name on it to fuck with Corona beer? That pisses me right the fuck off, Trump.